What's up guys, Leek here, and today I'm going to bring a tutorial, and you guys asked for this tutorial, a lot of you, uh, on how to import Photoshop to Cinema 4D, and back, so, let me show you real quick, okay, so here's my logo, uh, easy ways to pen tool the logo, like, just around and stuff like that, but to save time, I'm just going to hold control, click this box, and go to paths, click this little uh, line with a circle, and go to file, export paths to Illustrator, and save it somewhere safe, save it there, and I go to cinema 40, go file, merge, and find your file. There we go, and just click OK. Now let me find it. Okay. So now here's my logo. I shrink it down a bit. Okay, looks good. And then now. If you have two, like, if you have more than one, then you have to make 3D, like, right here. I have this part, and then this part. Click the plus button, it splits it into two paths. And go up to this block, click and hold to extrude nerves. Click on extrude nerves, hold control, and click and pull and drag down. And then click path one, and drag it under extrude nerve, and then path two. Drag under uh, extrude nerb, and then click extrude nerb, and then hold shift, and then click this extrude nerb, and I'm gonna make the distance longer by just adding a two to the uh, or adding a zero to 200, and then to give it a nice little effect, I'm gonna add a filler cap, put it one step and a two radius. Okay. And then I'm just going to add a very random material. Okay. And next thing, you know, next thing what you want to do, if you want to just render your image out, well, not render, but preview, just click on this little uh, block right here, film camera thing. And then you just click OK if you have that. And then, uh, as you can see, it's rendering out. Oh wait, I gotta turn this off. Okay. Yeah, well anyways, that'll render it out for you. And then to get the best settings, click on this right here. And go to save. Click on the, uh, these dot leader things. Click it and then save it to a safe spot. So I'll save it as a logo. Format PNG, 8-bit. Alpha channel, these two checked, and then, um, yeah, that's all that you really need. Uh, this is just a Lightroom I, I use, so each Lightroom might be different, but these are just, uh, if you want to copy these down, these are just, um, the Lightroom saving, um, settings. Okay, now click the middle box, just once, and uh, should render for you, and I'll just bring up a new document, so I can show you it. Okay, as this is rendering out, just gonna wait for it. Okay, we're in good time. Okay, now go to that spot where you saved it. Here it is right here. Drag in the Photoshop. And uh, if you wanna do it easier way, if your Photoshop does it like mine and makes it into a new document, 
instead of putting it on the document you wanted to, just get your marquee tool, drag it over, shift, control, C, and what that does is it copies it, and then you just go in here, control, V, or you could just, uh, plain simple, just drag it onto the document, like so. Um, I'm going to zoom in for better quality, and scale this down a bit. And as you can see, I have a nice 3D um, remake of my logo. I could add a gradient, set overlay, and I could add a outer glow, and set that to overlay. Yeah, um, as you can see, this is on how you transfer things from uh, Photoshop to some of 4D and then back to Photoshop in 3D. So yeah, um, hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you guys would like any more, comment, and I hope you enjoy this again. So, uh, like, comment, subscribe, peace.